Hello everyone, in this video I will tell you about 10 resources which will help you a great deal if you are a 3D artist. Sketchfab Sketchfab is an amazing 3D model selling platform but it can be used for study purpose as well. It provides a live view of every 3D model listed on the site. You can check topology, texture maps, bones and even their weight painting. Some models have animation embedded on it. I use it a lot for study purpose. It has some amazing anatomy models game ready models and if you are an animator you can search and see bones and learn how they are rigged for example if i want a reference of planes of the head so i could study anatomy i can simply type asaro head i will get this live 3d preview of this model and i can just rotate it around take screenshot use it to study planes of the head or i could buy this model if i want to model inspector is a great feature this site provides which will let you check the model topology texture sets bones and all other stuff pixelogic download center Pixelogic Download Center can be a great resource for downloading free tools if you are a ZBrush artist. The site provides some free useful plugins as well as some great variety of matcap materials. By default ZBrush comes with some useful plugins but you can also download some additional plugins from this site. Some of these are very helpful. I personally like Clean Tool Utility which will let you apply dynamic subdivision to all your model at once and Dynamesh Utility which you can use to have custom Dynamesh resolution by adding some numbers. It made my workflow fast and I recommend you check out these additional plugins. Some of them can really make your workflow faster. You can also download additional matcap materials from this site as well as free alphas for skin details, pores and other type of details. GOB add-on GOB or GOB is a very useful plugin for Blender and it's free. It lets you import or export your mesh into ZBrush really quickly. With just one click, you can jump between these softwares having your mesh without saving and importing these files manually. I use this plugin all the time for making hard surface models in Blender while working in ZBrush. I recommend you download and use this add-on because it will make your workflow fast, efficient and will save you a lot of time. PureRef PureRef is a free image taking software. It lets you save unlimited amount of pictures for references. Its light feature and image mode types can really help you while sculpting. For example, the mode type always on top will make the screen always appear on top while you do your stuff making it ideal choice for using it it also lets you drag and drop images directly from your browser into the software and the best thing about this it's completely free if you are not already i highly recommend you use this software it will help you a lot now maybe this will come as a surprise to you artstation the popular platform for artists now has a dedicated learning section that was once a premium feature but is now completely free for all users. That's right, with just an ArtStation account and click of the learning button, you will have access to a wide variety of courses covering everything from digital 2D art to 3D modeling. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced artist, ArtStation's learning section is a veritable treasure trove of knowledge, offering tutorials on popular software like ZBrush, Blender and Maya. ArtStation Marketplace can be a good resource for downloading free stuff. It is not discussed enough among CG artists a lot and I feel like I should mention it in my list. The free stuff can range from base meshes to materials, plugins, alphas or even pose references. The site has mostly paid content but there are some pretty decent free stuff lying around for you to download. Free Textures Talking about free stuff, Ambient CG previously known as CO Textures is a free resource for downloading textures, materials, HDRI and some smart materials. The site contains almost every type of PBR textures ranging from different categories. It also has some free HDRI and smart materials for Substance Painter. The site keeps getting updated and can be a pretty good resource for getting textures really quickly. Bad King Site For ZBrush related content, Bad King is another example of a good free resource but underrated most of the time. The site contains tons of free stuff for you to download. It can range from brushes, base meshes, textures, alphas, materials or even free tutorials. 
Some of the brushes are really famous and often used by many known artists. For example, I personally like hair brush and rope brush. Anatomy for Sculptors Now it's a semi-ish free resource. Anatomy for Sculptor is a premium book for those who want to learn human anatomy the artistic way. But it's a paid book. But it's really worth it. But you can also get some free content the author provides. If you visit his Instagram or our station, he is generous enough for sharing tons of free pages from the book. So if you are looking for some free material to learn anatomy, follow his account. More better if you buy the book, I highly recommend it. Adobe Color now here is the last resource which I personally like a lot. It is a color sampling site and it's completely free. You can create an account to save your own presets but the account is not actually needed to use the site. I use this site to get the idea of what colors I will choose to texture my characters or to find an inspiration for the scene I need to render. For example, Complementary colors can really pop out the look of your models. The site provides a tool which easily creates any type of complementary color you want. You can also find presets by clicking explore and find and pick colors from. I think for a 3D artist, the colors are as equally important as a 2D artist. And to have a resource like this for free can really come in handy. If you are not familiar with color theories, I highly recommend you start studying it because colors play a vital role for the presentation of your work. A good rendering can pop out the bad design, but a bad rendering cannot even save a really good model. So guys, this is it. I hope these resources will help you in your artistic journey. Keep learning, keep growing. Happy New Year. I will see you on the next video.